We're here protesting against the presence of an Israeli-owned arms factory here in the heart of Newcastle on Scotswood Road. The factory is owned by Raphael, which is the third largest, third largest arms factory in Israel. It's completely owned by the Israeli state. It's responsible for making the munitions, the equipment, parts for aircraft, parts for tanks, which are used in the slaughter in Gaza. Slaughter which has resulted in the deaths of at least 40 odd thousand people, probably more likely over 200 thousand people. So we're here in protest to say an arms factory which is complicit with the genocide is not acceptable. We want it out of Newcastle. I'm here today because I'm appalled, I'm disgusted about the fact that on our doorstep here in Newcastle, just a short distance from where I live, where my family lives, we have uh, an Israeli-owned arms company uh, operating, helping to construct uh, the, the equipment that is causing uh, a genocide. Uh, over in Gaza, in Palestine. Um, I think it's, it's completely unacceptable. Um, I think that we need to shut this place down. It should not operate on our doorstep in our community. This factory has been, uh, has been around since 1948, Raphael Defence Systems, and it, was, it, was, it is responsible for creating weapons such as the Spike missile, the F components to the F-35 fighter jets the most lethal fighter jets in the world, and armoured vehicles, which we know for a fact are being used against the Palestinian civilians, mainly women and children of Gaza. Today, we've seen around, we've seen hundreds of people from Newcastle, from the community, from multiple organisations that have heeded the call, that have rallied up against this factory because it does not stand with our values, it does not stand with the Geordie values, and uh, it, it is a proud moment for Newcastle and for the Geordie community to have such a large amount of people, a large number of people that demands the same thing, the full dismantling and the full shutdown of an Israeli factory in our own city. As Francesca Albanese, the Special Rapporteur for Palestine and the Occupied Territories says, so many organisations and institutions are responsible in the supply chain to the government of Israel. This factory is a very obvious target for us. It is directly providing products that are killing people on the ground right now in Gaza and they need to be held accountable. It's not just enough to keep marching and keep showing support through, the, through marches. It's what can we actually do that can have a material impact on the genocide that's going on in Gaza. Now one of the things we can do is get a factory shut down. That factory supplies weapons that is that are killing children. Um, we know there's been precedent already in Oldham. There was a factory owned by Elder Systems, which is also an Israeli company. And the community there were able to shut that factory down. Direct action is the most direct and effective way that we can have an impact and save lives of the Palestinian people. We have tried petitioning, we've tried lobbying our politicians, we've tried the mass protest even with a million people and every single one of these actions has been ignored. The state will only listen when it is met with the language that it understands and that language is taking direct action because they will ignore our, uh, our petitions and they will ignore our lobbying because they have no intention of uh, growing a conscience anytime soon. Freedom is never given, it's taken and that's why we're here and that's why direct action is so important, especially against weapons factories. So this week there's been um, daily blockades. So blockades have been taking place like weekly or fortnightly for a year now. But this week, for the first time, um, activists blockaded the entrance of this factory on Monday morning, Tuesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, Thursday afternoon and Friday morning to disrupt the operations of this factory, to send a clear message that it is not wanted and we don't want murderous weapons being produced here. And we want to disrupt them as much as possible within the law because we want this factory to be shut down. The employees that work here will, simply by being part of an organisation in which they are employed, will also be working in a company that is complicit in genocide in time to come when this factory 
actually has to stop producing weaponry. It will be a day in which the owners will have to face a reckoning and accountability in the legal courts.